Well, hello. Thank you so much for being here today. We're in the virtual boardroom with uh, me, Gladys Boutwell, Insurance by Design. Today, we are here with Diana McCready. She is with McCready Realty Group, which is part of the Keller Williams Realty Portland Central Area. Is that correct? Did I get that right, Diana? Yes, Gladys. That's great. Excellent. Well, I, I wanted to ask, I know that you had mentioned to me that you are a 99C on the DISC uh, chart scale. Yeah. And one of the things there is that you are a very much a planner. So my question to you is, I know you also mentioned that you love to ski and you love to, and you love the beach. In that planner side of you, have you ever planned a trip where you ski in the morning and then you go to the beach at night or vice versa? <laughs> no, I have not. But now that you put it in my mind, I'll, I'll, I will, I'll think on that. I'm a thinker, so I will think on that. I think that's also called hood to coast. Yes. So, you know, when I think about that, you know, if I ever wanted to do that walk or run, um, have you ever done hood to coast? This uh, 2019 was my very first, that was a last minute ad. It was my very first time and I had a blast. I was in oh. grade two, started in Sandy uh, and ended up at the beach and it was an amazing experience. So oh. yes, I definitely recommend it. Yeah, I can only imagine. Yeah. So, okay. So we'll, we'll see, maybe you'll be on Hood to Coast in 2020 or 2021. We don't know. So, so tell us, Anna, what, what, is your market? Who do you serve? What, what is that you love about what you do? Tell us. <laughs> yeah, I am, um, I am a residential realtor in the Portland metro area. I have been since 1986, so about 33 years mm -hmm. serving uh, buyers and sellers. And um, Portland metro, it, that, you know, that's, that's what I do. So um, I can be out in Hillsboro in the morning and down in Lake Oswego in the afternoon and up in North Portland the next day and uh, down in Milwaukee, you know, shortly after that. So I get around. Um, have, having done this for so many years, I, I know the, the metro area very, very well. And um, can run the analytics on just about every neighborhood and, and get pretty well dialed in on what their pricing looks like, you know, that I can assist my buyers and sellers. Um, and that, that's what I do. I, I really enjoy the opportunity and the privilege to come alongside people at a time uh, when they have a need to either sell or, or buy, they're making a move, they're making a change. I would say um, real estate happens at the corner of life and change. And it, it doesn't happen on Wall Street. It doesn't happen on Pennsylvania Avenue, no matter what's going on you know, with politics or, or the stock market, really. Um, it, it happens because people have a change. And whether they're upsizing or downsizing, um, <clears throat> you know, making, making a change in their relationship, their job, all sorts of reasons. And so um, I, I'm there at that corner of life and change. Um, and it's a privilege, it's an honor to be able to come alongside people in such a um, challenging and interesting transition of their lives. They do say it's one of the most stressful things you can do besides getting married and, um, you know, some of that. So, um, I enjoy it. I enjoy um, consulting my clients along the way and, and um, helping them get the best outcome possible. Yeah. Very nice. I, I love that, that uh, consultative approach. How do you maintain that relationship <laughs> with your clients? Because if I'm purchasing a home today, I'm probably going to live in that home for quite a few years. How do you maintain that relationship so that 5, 10, 15 years down the line when I need to sell this home, buy another one? Uh, so that way I, I remember you. I remember to call Diana. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, and that's interesting, Gladys, because um, we went from an average of uh, an American homeowner being in their home for about six years to now nearly 10 years. Oh, wow. So the last recession um, uh, contributed to that adjustment. Okay. And, um, and now this pandemic probably will as well that people will stay in their homes just a little bit longer. It's also a demographic thing as baby boomers have, have been staying in their homes much, much longer. They, they tend to not move. It's drawn the, you know, the average time of somebody staying in the home. So with that said, my goal isn't to stay in touch with people until they're ready to do something again. My goal is to serve people before, during, and after the transaction 
and the after the transaction is just to be there for them for whatever they may need. Everybody should have a good real estate agent in their lives. They should have a good doctor, a good CPA, a good attorney, a good insurance person. It's sort of their almost like their wealth management team and their health management team. I see myself as that. Certainly wealth because you're building equity um, in your property. And, um, and then also there are just things that you might want to do to um, maintain that wealth by maintaining your property. So, you know, maybe it's time for new roof and gutters. Maybe it's time for a new deck. Maybe um, here's just an interesting side note. There was just a survey that came out that said 35% um, of American homeowners who were polled in the last five to six weeks during this pandemic definitely have plans to do a remodel. Oh, nice. So they've been in their home and they're looking around and going, you know, we really should get this kitchen done or let's get a decent home office in this house, or let's get a place where the kids can kind of hang out, you know, by themselves and we can have a little bit of separation. We love being together as a family, but having a little separation would be nice. So 35% of the homeowners that were polled said, yeah, we're gonna do something. So I'm there for that. If they wanna do a remodel or anything, I'm very, very well connected to lots of trade services and contractors that can help them. So um, my goal is just to be there for them as long as they want me, whether they ever, ever buy or sell again, that's okay. I'm there to serve them and to serve who they know. And they say on average, we all influence 285 people on average. So that's, you know, what movie should you go to? What restaurant should you go to? Where did you get your hair done? You know, where'd you get those cute shoes? Where are you getting your nails done? Um, where's the best place to golf? All of that. So we, we are influencers. And so my goal is to, again, help that person who has um, maybe bought a home and along the way, who else can I help that they know? And they like it because they want to be able to help their friends, family members, and coworkers. Everybody wants to help everybody. So if they can help their friend by referring them a good real estate agent that they feel good about, that they trust, then it just it just makes everybody happy. So that's how it goes around. So I stay in touch with my my buyers, um, sellers who have moved, and I've helped them buy. You know, so certainly my past clients, but I also stay in touch with people who have never bought or sold with me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe when I met them, they were in already in a nice home and they're there to stay. But maybe they're business owners or or not, and I'm still there to serve them because the real estate agent who probably helped them buy that home 10, 20 years ago. They don't remember them. That person has not stayed in touch with them and they don't have a good real estate agent in their life. So I stay in touch with them too. How can I serve you? You guys need to do anything on the house. Um, do you need to know a, a current value for your insurance planning, your estate planning? I know you can go to Zillow, but that is a Zestimate. So let me get you an appraisal. You know, I'll do that for you. Nice. Um, yeah, and I do client events, I do workshops and invite people to come in and learn more about finances or uh, how to earthquake proof their homes, um, you know, things like that. So just giving value to people that way. And they give back, they just do. And that has really helped me build a very, very solid referral business that I can count on. And I know that there's gonna be a consistent stream of referrals coming in and a good business. Nice. So if somebody had to st wanted to get in contact with you because the, I had mentioned to you some time ago that I still actually am in contact with my real estate agent in Texas, Texas. that helped me buy my house, uh, rent it, and then sell it. Um, so it, it's, it does help because as I have had friends move there, they're asking me, it's like, hey, you lived here. And I say, yeah, I actually do have somebody. So I, I've fully believe in yeah. that. Tell us what is the best way to get a hold of you so that we can get that connection. Sure. Um, you can you can find me on um, social media platforms on Facebook. It's Diana McCready, M-C-C-R-E-D-I-E, and Instagram. Um, you can uh, call or text me at area code 503-860-0059. My email address is diana at mccreedyrealtygroup.com. All right, great. Well, one more question for you, which is, I think that it'll be even beyond just you. I think maybe somebody else can uh, take away from it. Not that, I mean, we've already gotten some takeaways, little nuggets uh, that you've been sharing with us, but tell us, what is it that you, you've done 
either differently or that you have really leaned on that has really helped your business not only survive but thrive through in this economy right now? Well, there are two, for me, there are two things that come to mind. Number one is um, I, even I get busy to the point where I don't stay in, oh, excuse me, where I don't stay in as close touch with my clients as I'd like to. And I don't mean the current clients I'm working right. with in buying or selling. I mean the, 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 um, the database that I have that I stay in touch with. There may be a couple of months that go by or three months and I haven't reached out to somebody and I realize I'm a little bit behind on that because I want to stay consistent. Consistency builds trust and I can be top of mind to them when they need me. So um, during this time then, yes, it's a little bit slower. I mean, the real estate market in the Portland metro area during this pandemic is actually amazing. I mean, it is, it is fast paced. It is a hot, hot seller's market and I've got the, the data to show anybody. Um, but sales are a little bit lower. So yes, there's a little bit more time. So it's definitely a time to lean into my database and make sure that I am touching base with everybody. And this is more, right now it's more of a time to just call and see how people are doing. Um, I'm catching most people because they are at home. Um, you know, they're, they're not in their normal work day. They can pick up the phone and talk for a few minutes. And, and they're happy to. They just want to talk about what's going on with them and, you know, kind of vent a little bit about the situation we're in. So I'm just there for them. And um, that's been very, very rewarding and just catching up and learning things about people that I didn't even know because now we have a little bit more time to talk and share. So that's number one. So, and what that's going to do is, is definitely set me up for the future because every time I have those interactions voice to voice or face to face, it is, it, it's putting more in the, in the trust bank in my um, database. I'm going to say the second thing for me that has probably been the biggest is to um, not watch the news. So I really stay off of, I stay off of social media that is, um, either negative or political. I don't watch the TV news. Um, I, I, I really lean into um, facts and figures. So, you know, some of the COVID-19 pandemic um, information that comes from the state of Oregon or, um, uh, you know, some of those reliable sources, I'll, I'll take a look at that. Um, I listen to Dr. Radio on Sirius XM. Okay. So I get really great real-time information on what's going on there. And then also just really leaning into the groups I'm involved with. So other networking groups and business groups, these are people who are like-minded. They're, they're, you know, wonderful business people who are all also trying to be their best in, in what's going on, be the best to their clients, be the best leaders on their teams or their organizations. And I have found that to just be so, so supportive to me because this is not a time to be isolated. This is not a time to be an island. We really need each other. And I think um, that not only, you know, sets me up to be pandemic proof, but recession proof because I've been through the big recession. I've been through, I've been in 33 years of real estate, believe me, I've been through, you know, right. some shifts, right? And so that I, I have learned, you know, back then that really leaning into those groups and other business owners um, just sets me up to be um, just so much more solid and yeah. centered and feeling good about my business and really able to come um, from a stronger place to serve my clients. Nice. I actually heard three points there. One, stay in contact with clients, build those relationships. Number two, stay away from the negative things that are out there, uh, essentially get rid of the things that don't do you any good. Mm -hmm. And number three is be part of mastermind groups mm -hmm. and people. What, what is it that you are the average of the top five people that you hang out with? And if you mm -hmm. are around five others that are also thriving and, and working towards betterment of everybody, we're going to be in the middle of that. So oh, I think 100%. I got that. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, thank yeah. you for those nuggets. Thank you for your time today so very yeah. much. Uh, look forward to continuing to work with you. And uh, we will see you in, in the future. Thanks so much for today. And thank you, viewers, for being today in the virtual boardroom with Gladys Boutwell, Insurance by Design. Take care.